And so in the meantime, I want to focus in again on Netflix and the earnings report that disappointed investors. Uh, one critic, Jenny Montgomery's uh, Tony Wibble, downgraded the stock to a sell this morning. But my next guest is not quite so harsh on the company. He's got a buy rating on Netflix. He's Heath Terry, the managing director of Internet Equity Research at Canaccord Genuity. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for being with us. And, and all morning long, what we've heard about is the worry and the concern about the streaming costs for Netflix. Uh, are you how worried are you about that? What are your numbers for this? You know, we're, we're not worried about that. I mean, it, you know, streaming costs for them are, are going to be uh, something investors have to focus on. The reality of it is the company exceeded their profitability forecast for Q1. Um, they're guiding to the same 14 percent operating margin number that they guided to at the beginning of the year. So the really you're just talking about timing differences in terms of when those costs are hitting in Q2 versus some that were supposed to hit in, in Q1. Mm -hmm. And the you know, reality of it is these guys have a huge um, treasure chest, so to speak, of postage costs, distribution costs, marketing costs that they're able to pull from in order to fund those content costs. But OK, but is it a one to one funding? Because uh, I'm, I mean, some estimates I hear the streaming costs for next year could be something like, what, one point three billion dollars or more. Well, no, you know, the, the, the beauty of it is it's actually not a one-to-one -one funding. It's actually, it's actually better than that in favor of the, uh, the, the, the distribution side of the, the, the business. So moving from streaming, this is a much more profitable company um, using a streaming model so, than it so is a DVD your, model. So, then, so Heath, what's your, what are your numbers then? Uh, you know, we, we ultimately think this is a company that's going to be able to generate high teens operating margins from the 14 percent margins that we're at now. Um, you know, in terms of where where we think numbers are going, we're we're sticking with the, the 14 percent operating margin number for this year, though we expect that there's probably going to be some upside to, to that as well. Um, but the big story here is you've got a company with 20 uh, over 20 million subscribers that's actually seeing accelerating growth. We think they're going to get to 30 million subscribers by the end of this year. OK, Heath. I got to leave it there. Thank you, though. Heath Terry All of right. Canaccord Genuity talking about Netflix.